So in this video, we are going to look into how we can connect NA10 directly with Go High Level. So as you can see, in NA10, you have the option to select Go High Level directly as a node. You can also set it up via a simple HTTP request, but if they already have a node, this becomes more easier. And also like when you set it up like this, all you have to do is just search the node up and then you can just, you know, search all the functions that are available. And all these functions that are available here are going to be anyway available when you are going to, you know, directly use their API. So with that said, let's look into this. So I already have this connection where I'm getting all the contact data. Now, the way you will add is click on this add icon and search high level and just, uh, just, just, yeah, just use anything. And now here I already have one credential, but I'm gonna add a new one. So create new credential. And then you will go into this website right here, which says marketplace.gohighlevel.com. I've highlighted this. And here you can basically use your Go High Level login, login details to enter into it. Then it's very simple. You click on create app. And here you can just name the app. So I'm going to name it N8N YT. Uh, keep it private. And then use sub account. Um, and yeah. Uh, use agency and sub account it doesn't matter and white label then click on create app now you can leave all these things really not necessary go to advanced setting click on auth and here we'll get the scope so how we'll get the scope so you click on this documentation from any and here we will get all these scopes so just literally copy that paste it right here add it and you're gonna just repeat that process until you have all the scopes. Copy paste again. Copy paste. Let me try something. If uh, if I can add like this, will it be like okay? No, it's not okay. Last second and the last one here. All right. So after this, also while we are at it, we are just going to copy this entirely, copy this and go right here in the scopes, just paste it. You are going to yeah need to add the scopes here and in the app, uh, both the places. Now go back to your N810 and here where it says this auth URI, this will look completely different for, for you because I have hosted uh, this on my own server. Now go here and uh, Sorry, I have like connected it to my own domain. So just keep that in mind. And now click on add, uh, save it. Click here and save it again. Now, the last thing we need to do is add client keys. And here, just name it again, uh, something like n 10 yt I already have one, so I'm gonna anyway delete this. Uh, so here, I'll copy this, paste it. Copy this right here, paste it right there. And yeah, once this is done, click on save. Your credentials are saved. And now you will click on connect my account. Once you do that, it will, yeah, it will try to connect your Go High Level account. Log into CRM. Okay. Let's allow that as well. Okay. I'm inside here. Now let's see. Says, all right. So it's asking for all these access. Click on next. And now you need to select the particular, um, what it's called, particular uh, sub account that you want to link to. You know what? While we are at it, I'm just gonna link the another account. So I just clicked on the sub account. It says connection successfully. Now I can access. So I have three sub accounts inside my Go High Level from this connection that I made right now I can access this sub account GHL AI agency and my previous one was for origin X AI so now everything is set and yeah that's pretty much it now if you try to let's try to run it as well to just show you how to uh, oh sorry uh, let me not just mess up my automation this is a very crucial automation now this one it's connected to the GHL AI agency now let's see what we can use is contacts and get many so we are going to use we are going to just get all the contacts that are inside of my ghl ai agency we'll see 
Okay, as you can see, I have these contacts. Uh, now, if I run this, return all, no, let's just do 10. Yes, I don't know. Now, if I go, as you can see, we have 10 items. If I go like this, in a table format, you can see all the contacts that were here are now in my NA10 and I can now manipulate it. So as you can see, Pranav Raj here, then this guy, then Tristan, then all this guy, you know, as you can see, uh, we have their data right here. And yeah, that was uh, pretty simple and pretty easy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Check my channel out for more uh, AI voice agent and AI agent related content in general. Uh, with that said, that was all. Uh, wait for the next one.